A manufacturer produces two types of models, M1 and M2. Model M1 and model M2. Each model of type M1 requires four hours of grinding and two hours of polishing. And each a model of type M2 requires 2 hours of grinding and 5 hours of polishing. Manufacturer have 2 grinders and 3 polishers. The total number of grinding machines are 2 whereas the polishing machine is 3. Each grinder works 40 hours a week. The hours, the working hours of grinders are limited to 40 hours a week and each polisher works 60 hours a week. Profit on model M1 is rupees 3 and M2 is rupees 4. Whatever is produced in a week is sold in the market. Then the question is, how should the manufacturer allocate the production capacity to the two types of model so that he may make the maximum profit in a week? Here there are two models, M1 and M2, which produces the item, same item. Each machine, each model requires two processes. One is a grinding process and the other is a polishing process. To get one quantity of the model M1, it requires 4 hours on the grinding machine and 2 hours on the polishing machine. In order to get a model of M2, it requires 2 hours on grinding and 5 hours on polishing. And the maximum time of grinding is limited to 4, 40 hours. A grinding machine can work only up to 40 hours a week and a polishing machine can work only up to 60 hours a week. The profit from one quantity of M1 is given as rupees 3 and one quantity of M2 is given as rupees 4. Now, the question is how many numbers of models or how many quantities of models of type M1 and M2 should be produced to maximize the profit? Here, we are required to find the number of quantities of models M1 and M2. Let us denote X1 be the number of quantities of type M1. Number of quantities of type M1 is denoted by X1. Let us denote number of quantities of model M2 by X2. X1 denote the number of quantities of type M1 or model M1. X2 is the number of quantities of model M2 that is to be produced. Now we are to find the maximum profit, how to make the maximum profit from uh, by producing X1 units of M1 and X2 units of M2. Now it is given that from one unit of type M1 the profit is 3 and one unit of M2 the profit is 4. So we are going to produce X1 units of type M1 and X2 units of type M2. The total profit is 3 into X1 plus 4 into X2. That pro total profit should be maximized. So our objective function is maximize it's a maximization problem because we are to maximize the total profit so the objective function is maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 where x1 is the quantity of items of m1 type and x2 is the quantity of items of type m2 which are to be produced